tomorrow is the last day of my quarantine. And at this time tomorrow, it's going to be 3 in the morning and I will be able to just walk outside. And I think I'm just going to go and maybe just take the garbage down at 3 in the morning or walk in the parking lot or even just get in my car and just drive somewhere. I don't even know where, just anywhere. I haven't seen another person in almost two weeks. The only living things I've seen really were just birds and like squirrels. I sit on the balcony and just watch nature and it makes me feel a bit better. And it's been a really hard uh, last few days. Um, both psychologically and physically for me. So, um, I don't even know where to start, but I've been sick for the last few days. I have stomach problems, I was nauseous, I was having a lot of panic attacks. Um, just imagining scary things and it's been really hard. I'm not used to being alone. It's, I feel like I feel like sometimes like I'm looking at myself from the outside. It's really weird. The coronavirus situation has not improved. There is no improvement either here in Quebec or in Massachusetts. They keep talking about hitting the peak, but some people talk about how it's going to be over in two weeks and other people talk about how it's going to take two years until we have a vaccine. And this really scares me because there's no proof that any vaccine will ever work. Like, we don't have a vaccine for AIDS, and especially with this disease where there are cases of people getting reinfected with it, shows that maybe people don't develop immunity after they have it. In that case, how could a vaccine work? can read a little bit from my diary today. I don't know if it's any good. Probably it's not good. Probably it's very sad. I wrote a lot. Anyway, I'm just gonna read this. I don't know if it's any good. Okay. I'm April 16th. I'm having a terrible time. One more day left. What happens after? I feel like I am getting a sore throat. All the sensations of my body, dry lips, nausea, thirst, the heaviness of my left leg, the fatigue, everything alerts me and scares me. Outside clouds are moving across the sky. It is very cold. Snow is blowing in the wind, but the snowflakes don't look like snow. I was watching a squirrel and two birds with red or rather orange stomachs. They are alive. When I see people, I feel afraid. I saw a couple carrying a large cat in their arms. Maybe they decided to adopt a cat today, just like my brother. The cat was m mewing, meowing. The cat was meowing in the snow. The woman who was carrying the cat in her arms was happy. The man had a nice haircut. How is it possible now? The weather hasn't gotten warmer in the last two weeks as I had expected, but the days are longer. We are past the middle of April. Why is it still below freezing? It seems that with spring, salvation will come. It seemed, it seems so to the people of Wuhan, and it seems so to me now, to us maybe, to all of us. Anyways, so that's, don't want to keep reading. I need to get my hair dyed, but I don't know who's going to do that for me. And really, I'm not sure, like, once I leave here, once my quarantine is over, who am I going to see? Is anybody going to want to meet me? Nobody seems like they want to, to join me and nobody wants to live with me. Everybody just wants to stay by themselves. Nobody needs me, basically. I don't have anybody. I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have 
a best friend here. In this tough time, there's no one who wants to be with me. My dad wanted me to record a video when I leave from here, like when my quarantine ends. And I think I'm just, I'm not going to be able to record a video because I'm going to be so overwhelmed with emotion that I'm just going to cry. I'm just going to break down. I don't know if it's going to be a happy emotion or a sad emotion because even when I leave here, like who's going to want to talk to me? Every time you talk to anyone, you're basically taking a chance of, of getting yourself killed or killing the other person. I feel like life as we used to know it, like, it's never going to be the same again, like, at all. Like, you know, just going to a cafe, or going to a party, going to a friend's house for dinner, going to the movies, traveling abroad, all these things are maybe never going to happen again. And it also really scares me, like, when I think about when am I going to see my family again? When am I going to see my grandparents again and my parents? Because now that the border between Canada and the U.S. is closed, and nobody knows for how long. And if I leave from here, I'm not going to come back. I hope that better days are on the way. Who knows, maybe I'll find someone to spend the rest of my quarantine with. Maybe in the next couple of weeks, you know, I won't be alone anymore. Maybe I will be with someone. Hi guys, so today is day um, 14 of my quarantine. And um, it's actually April 17th here in Sherbrooke, Quebec. And um, I just saw... There was a lot of snow blowing outside just now. So it really has not gotten any warmer at all in the two weeks since I've been here. In fact, it's kind of, it's kind of gotten colder. It doesn't seem like spring is here yet at all. So now it's 2.30 uh, in the morning on April um, 18th. And it's exactly two weeks since I arrived here in this quarantine apartment in Sherbrooke, Quebec. And um, it's minus five outside. It's actually colder than it was when I first arrived. And my friend is encouraging me to celebrate the, the end of my quarantine by going outside for the first time in two weeks. If you don't count the balcony. So I haven't gone up or down the stairs in two weeks and I haven't been outside in the parking lot. I don't know how safe it is to be outside at three in the morning, but I am going to risk it right now. And let's see what's going to happen. I don't know if I should wear my face mask given that it's two in the morning, like hopefully I won't see anybody. I feel like I don't have to wear it. I'm just gonna do this or something. Nobody here wears masks. They didn't they didn't catch that yet. It's not like the States. Nobody here is wearing masks. So let's see. I'm gonna get dressed. I have to move my coat and my boots um, away from the balcony door where they have been for the last two weeks. Um, to the actual front door of the apartment. So here you see my coat and my boots and this uh, rug, which I had kept next to the balcony door for the last two weeks. Actually, two weeks kind of went by super fast, you know? Um, at the same time, they felt like really painful, like the last week, but at the same time, I feel like it wasn't that long ago that I arrived here. I don't know, it's just been really hard for me the last few days. So, I don't know why, I'm just really emotional. Having a hard time dealing with my emotions. Like, everything makes me cry. 
Um, so now just moving my boots and my coat from the balcony door. This, let's show you, this is the balcony. You know, this is the door of my balcony. This is where my boots are and my coat. And I'm going to move them now. I'm going to put them on, actually. Not a big deal, but it feels like a big deal. It's kind of cold outside, actually, so I'm actually going to put on a sweater. It's minus five. I don't know if I'll even ever edit this video or, or not. I'm even gonna wear a scarf. If I have a hat in the car. I could even, I don't know, I could go for a drive. I don't know if I should bring my bank card. I don't think I would need it. I mean, couldn't bring it. Should bring the address in case I get lost. Cause I've never been in this town. I could get lost and then I won't be able to find my way back. See if I have the keys. My car keys that I haven't used in two weeks. And these are the keys to the apartment that I haven't touched in two weeks. It's crazy. Okay. okay, so I am ready to go out. I brought a little purse with me, which I have no idea why, because I'm not sure, like, um, I'm not sure, like, where I'm going, but just in case. I don't think I, I'm just going to be outside for, like, two minutes, but it's still going to be a big deal. I don't even know how to touch the door. Oh, well, I'm just going to wash my hands later. Walking outside, it's so crazy. I'm kind of scared to go out in the parking lot in the middle of the night. Strange smell here, it smells like. Oh, there's lights here. It's dark. Oh, there's a strange smell, like, it smells like the fields. I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere. Yeah, I could get in my car and like drive somewhere. My legs feel like a little bit weird. I haven't actually walked anywhere in a long time. I feel like I should go back because there's like no one here now. No, night. The ground is frozen. It's kind of weird that it's actually happening. Kind of looking forward to being back in the apartment now in my warm, comfortable, safe space. My hand is crazy. Sherbrooke, Quebec. They made um, walkways through the marshes and there are a lot of birds here and a lot of frogs. Very cool. We heard this is like the only 
um, kind of walkways in the wetlands in any urban area in the world. The clouds are beautiful. I like the comfort to read. What are you reading? A book. About what? About uh, what well, let me see. I'm not even sure what is it about. <laughs> oh. Okay, but I know uh, the uh, the writer is Patrick Snegal. Oh. One of the uh, writers from Quebec, the, the best. And there's so many birds flying. Yeah. It's like I feel like they're gonna hit my head. They're gonna hit your head? Yeah. There's just so many. It's just like. Anyway.